Welcome back guys. This is Nick up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee. And today's test drive is this 1959 Chevrolet Corvette. Go back as a 283. It's not the original motor. And of course, what I like doing is taking them down the road, pointing out chips, scratches, flaws, anything that I can find. That way you know what you're getting. This one's still got the old uh, styled tires on it. So I'm sure it's not gonna be a super smooth ride. But that was what's supposed to come on this car. Got dual exhaust coming out both corners there. How cool is that? We got 100 detailed pictures at maplemotors.com along with financing and shipping. It's available on all of our cars over there at the lot. Of course, every Monday I update with new inventory. So hit subscribe, share, check out some other videos that we put out. It's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Before we take off, I like to look around the interiors. Place your bets. Do you think the horn works on this one? It's a game we like to play. It's in pretty good shape. In the trunk, there's new door panels, inserts, all kinds of extra parts for this car as well. Coming across the dash. I mean, it really is in pretty good shape. I can already tell you right now, the temp gauge is not working. It's maxed out. Carpet's in decent shape in this one. This is a four-speed car. Let's go ahead and start her up. She's got a little bit of a hesitation in the carb. Look like our oil pressure gauge is moving around. It is working. Battery gauge doesn't look like it's working correct. Gas gauge, we're gonna be checking it out. It's on E right now. Wipers, they do work. Turn signals, I hear them. I don't see it flashing on the dash there on either side, but I do hear them. Uh, radio, it's all the way up already. It's not working. Blower motor, I hear it. It's just slow. It's not blowing very hard old clock there i don't think it's working of course you got a little console here in the center you can pop that up and look at the top which we'll have detailed pictures at the top at maplemotors.com see where they glued some of the weather stripping in there horns you place your bets it doesn't work there's no spring in it let's hit the road and see how she drives all right we're getting ready to take off here of course uh there's no seat belts in this one so that may have to be added. Let's go ahead and hit reverse. Clutch feels pretty good. Letting out about halfway. The seats are pretty comfortable in this one too. The brakes. They're touchy. Like to get some cars on off the trailer here. Waiting on this traffic now. All right, here we go. Back into the brakes. 
still pulling me to the right. Did you see that pull me off the road there? Of course, if I held on to the steering wheel, we'd have still been going straight. But I can now see the blinkers popping up on the dash here on both sides. I guess I was in bad lighting before where I couldn't see it. But yeah, you can see them in the shade here popping up on both sides. So I'm going to go ahead and get some fuel now pulling into the gas station. I'll put about $20 worth of fuel in this. After this, we're gonna do some undercarriage shot, as long as she's not too close to the ground. And uh, yeah, we'll have a little fun with it. Of course, towards the end of the video, I'm gonna be doing a walk around, pointing out chip scratches and flaws. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I put about $20 worth of gas in this ride here. You put it in right there. You can check the cap out. It's nice and clean inside. We'll check the gas gauge out now if I can get in here. This thing is very tight. So if you're a uh, seven foot tall, good luck. All right, so gas gauge is on E here. And it looks like it came up. It was on E, so the ga gas gauge is working. We got about half a tank now. All right, let's keep rolling. Here we go, we're getting ready to head back to the lot, but before we do that, look below in the description. You can see all the gear that I use. You can also see all the merchandise we have. We've been getting a lot of different shirts and a lot of people have been picking them up and I appreciate that. Uh, but let's go ahead and head back to the lot now. And of course, we're gonna be picking out the flaws at the end of this video. So let's head on back. Okay. A little grind going into second there. She's got a good amount of get up. I mean, overall, it's a pretty light car. I think mainly the only thing that I've noticed is the brakes still got a little bit of a right pull and the tires vibrate. These are older tires. They're nothing like new tires.
down into the brakes again. See, if I let off the steering wheel, the brakes will pull to the right still. Try to run through the gears once more. It does grind a little bit going into second. time through here let O'Reilly's get out of the way well. see when I hit the brakes pulls to the right there every time on that second gear. All right, we've made it back to the lot. Guys, I appreciate you watching. We're getting ready to do the walk around, picking out the flaws. Thanks again for riding with us. Okay, picking out the flaws. We're gonna be walking around this ride looking for chips, scratches, dents, whatever we can find. Go to maplemotors.com, look at the financing and shipping options we provide. Plus there's like 100 detailed pictures of every car and all of our inventory is updated every Monday. With that being said, let's get started here. Picking out the flaws. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and open the trunk. I know we got extra parts and stuff in here. So it'll take me just a second to get a lot of this out, which I'll be doing towards the end here because I'll have to cut the video to get everything out and lay it on the ground so you can actually see down in the trunk. Well, if I put the key in the right way, there we go. Coming around on the front end here. You can see there is some age on that bumper. It's got light scuffs. It's got a little bit of pitting on the grill you can see around the sum of the trim too around the headlight bezels coming down the side of the car here it's got good tires that they're just older and uh you can see actually it does have some dry rot on the edges here but they got good tread on them but you could definitely feel these tires driving them down the road coming down this lower portion here Couple little chips there. Slight chip here. So one there. Up and over. A little bit of pitting on the back bumper as well. A little rust by the exhaust pipe. In fact, that mid section. It's like a little wax left over on it. Door handles in great shape. Majority of this car is in great shape. Little ding here in the trim. The seal around your front window. A little sticky there. Still looks like it's doing its job. I don't see this car being out in the rain very much. It'd be a little crazy you got a top on it um i got detailed pictures of the top and everything so you're going to want to check that out on our website because i'm taking it back putting it right back in a showroom you can see there's a couple little dings right there a 
a little bit of pitting on the mirror up and around the front windshield looks pretty good around the back here no clips seem to be working nice and smoothly like i said with the trunk we're going to do that here in just a second i'm going to keep running around the edge of the car looking at everything your bumpers do have a lot of pitting i had the tag upside down i've done that twice this week seal it in the trunk there still soft but it's got paint on it chips on the edge of that door there some chips there at the bottom there's one right here a little scuff in the front there you get some light scuffs here as well a little crack in the paint back that midsection a little spot here door handles in great shape on this one We'll chip there I'm trying to get the uh, shadow out but it's just midday so it's uh, all in the way <laughs> and across the back it looks like we got some wax left over we got a little bit of pitting on this one and it's still nice and smooth as well a little hole there Oxidation on this piece of trim. Mirror looks good. Around the window there. Got a few little cracks. Front windshield's just got some fog on it. Wiper arms got some pitting. Coming down the top of the fender here chip right here and a ding on your trim right here let's go ahead and check out the interior it's got new armrest door panels inserts um all in the trunk but these don't really look that bad i'd say the armrest could be changed out they got some cracks on them but weather stripping around the door still soft but it should last a little bit longer before you have to change it out carpet in this one there's a little crack there for the most part it looks pretty good the seat on this one is in good shape a little stretched if anything passenger side same thing i know they're comfortable seats of course coming across the dash looks pretty good starts right up nice and easy Smooth motor. Date code correct. Not the original. 283. Of course, coming down with the hood here. There we go. She is shut.
out. It's good there. A little spider web in the middle here. Star. What that's called, actually. And I don't think I can one hand this back here. There's quite a bit of stuff. It'd be better if I grab both of them. So I'll be right back. Okay. So yeah, that's all your extra door panels, armrests. Looks like some weather stripping and stuff in there. Uh, and the weather stripping around the back here is still soft, kind of crumbly, but still soft. Probably still working. Got a fire extinguisher. It's in the good operating range. Um, the jack, tools for the jack is over here in the corner. Looking around in the trunk. You got a piece of wood. That spare tire. Not too bad. Coming down with this. Okay, I'm gonna shut a little harder. And now it's shut. A wax back here. Chip there. All right. Guys, I appreciate you watching. Be sure to hit subscribe, share, and hit like. That helps me out quite a bit. I'm going to keep making these videos for you so you know everything about the cars that come through Maple Motors. You can check out maplemotors.com because we do have financing, shipping, and detailed pictures. And we always get new cars in up here. We get about 60 a month. So your ride may come through. You can get pre-approved. And uh, call us on Monday when we update the website and be first to pick it up as well. Other than that, a lot of people will come in, locals, people come in from out of state every day. And, uh, you know, about 20% of our inventory does sell before I can even take videos or list it to my site. So that's the advantage of coming in and seeing us. Guys, I appreciate you watching and thank you. Have a good day.